we want to use the midpoint rule with m equals n equals 2 to estimate the value of the double integral over the region r of 5x plus 4y on the rectangular region r defined here. When the rectangular region is defined as we see here using interval notation, this first interval is the interval for x and the second interval is the interval for y. So let's first take a look at our region of integration. Again, x is over the closed interval from 0 to 4, which would be here, and y is over the closed interval from 0 to 6, which is here. And therefore, this rectangle is the region of integration. When using the midpoint rule to approximate a double integral, and our function f of x comma y is non-negative over the given region, then we're approximating the volume under the surface over the given region using cuboids or right rectangular prisms. Let's take a look at this graphically. Our function f of x comma y is this blue plane. And if we look down on the xy plane, we can see the region of integration is from x equals 0 to 4 and y equals 0 to 6. Because m equals n equals 2, we're dividing both the interval over x and y into two equal partitions which give us four subregions, which we see here, or four smaller rectangular regions. So again, what we're doing when we use the midpoint rule is determining the volume of four right rectangular prisms, or cuboids, to approximate the volume under the surface above the xy plane. Where the smaller partitions in the xy plane are the area of the bases, and the height of each cuboid is determined by the function value at the midpoint of each partitioned area. So going back to our work, let's first find our smaller partitions of the region R. Again, because m equals 2, we divide the x interval from 0 to 4 into two equal partitions here. And because n equals 2, we divide the interval from 0 to 6 for y into two equal partitions, which would be here. Notice how this gives us four smaller partitions, where each of these smaller areas would be the base of each cuboid. And now we need to find the midpoint of each of these smaller partitions, which would be here, 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 and here. Notice how these points are halfway between the x values that define this smaller partition, and halfway between the y values that define this smaller partition. Let's go and list the coordinates of each midpoint. Notice how this point would have coordinates 1, 1.5. This point here would have coordinates 1, 4.5. This point here would have coordinates 3, 1.5. And finally, we have this point here with coordinates 3, 4.5. So looking at the midpoint rule defined here, we have the double sum of f of x sub i bar comma y sub j bar times delta a, where each of these products represents the volume of a cuboid or right rectangular prism. So to set this up, we have the double integral over the region r of 5x plus 4y, which would be approximately equal to the double sum, where both j equals 1 to 2 and i equals 1 to 2 of f of x sub i bar comma y sub j bar times delta a. Remember, delta a would be the area of the base of each cuboid, which would be the area of the small rectangles here. So notice how delta a would be 2 times 3, or 6, because the area of each of these small rectangles is 6 square units. Now our next step is to find the function values at each of these points, which are the midpoints of each of the small partitions of the region of integration. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So to determine the function values, our function is f of x comma y equals 5x plus 4y. So for each point, we substitute the x and y values into our function to determine the function values. So we have f of 1 comma 1.5 is equal to 11 f of 1 comma 4.5 equals 23, f of 3 comma 1.5 equals 21, and f of 3 comma 4.5 equals 33. So using the midpoint rule, we have the double integral over the region r of 5x plus 4y, 
would be approximately equal to, let's go ahead and write this out as f of, again, 1 comma 1.5 times delta A plus f of 1 comma 4.5 times delta A plus f of 3 comma 1.5 times delta A and then finally plus f of 3 comma 4.5 times delta A. So now subbing in our values, again f of 1 comma 1.5 is 11. So we have 11 times delta A which is 6 plus f of 1 comma 4.5 which is 23. So you have 23 times 6 plus f of 3 comma 1.5, which is 21. So 21 times 6 plus f of 3 comma 4.5, which is 33. So we have 33 times 6. Now we could factor out the delta A here, but I like leaving it in this form just to emphasize each product represents the volume of a cuboid or right rectangular prism. So our approximation for the double integral is 528. So going back to our graph one last time, the 528 represents the volume of these four cuboids, which we used to approximate the double integral, which represents the volume under the blue plane over the region of integration. Again, we can say volume because our function f of x comma y is non-negative over the region of integration. Otherwise, we could not refer to it as volume, though we still could use the midpoint rule to approximate a double integral. I hope you found this helpful.